friends happy tuesday today we are trying to cram in as much halloween shopping as humanly possible in a short amount of time i keep seeing things show up at big lots now kohl's we're still looking for the cracker barrel ghost um, marshall's home goods all kinds of places and the goal today is to hit as many of those places as humanly possible so i'm off work and the first stop is big lots let's see if they have any halloween That was literally it for Big Lots, unfortunately. But hey, it's something. Um, I'm really hoping to find these string lights that I saw online that are pumpkins, and they also have ghosts that have little faces on them that sing. One sings Ghostbusters, and then I think the pumpkins sing Monster Mash. Headed to the next destination. Now we're going to Kohl's. I have only seen um, kitchen stuff so far, but you know our kitchen is Halloween all the time. Very cute. A little black cat pillow here. This is like a trick or treat set. What's down here? Oh, that's very cute. And we found the towels. this is all kinds of messed up i didn't do this it came like this but they have this like set of three how adorable how much are these 40 dollars get out of here Coles. success now we are a little hard on our kitchen towels so we are due for a new set i usually try to buy a new like halloween set every year and this is the one i picked out it has the mommy and the baby cat and it says i love my mummy that's very cute, but this towel is not the reason I picked this out. It's actually the towel on the back that's the star of the show. So if you guys are cat people, how cute is this? All the cats in their little costumes, get out of here. So stinking cute. So yay Coles, we're seeing stuff. And now we're gonna head over to Cracker Barrel. Maybe we see the resin ghost holding the lantern, that famous ghost that nobody can find. I doubt it very much, but if there's anything new there, I'll definitely show you. I was open, but I didn't actually think I was gonna find the lantern ghost. It's all good. Cracker Barrel is exactly the same as it was last time I was there. So I just did a quick sort of once over so you guys get like the layout. If you want a more detailed description of what is a Cracker Barrel, if you go a couple videos back, you'll be able to see it there. Now I'm headed to a shopping center that has a few different stores in the same strip that I wanna check out. So we're gonna be checking off a lot of boxes here in a second. Just parked in front of two places I'm very excited to check out, Bath and Body Works and Hallmark. Talk to the associates, it looks like this Bath and Body Works doesn't get their full Halloween out until Sunday. So we're definitely coming back, but now we're gonna head into Hallmark. So I walk into Hallmark and immediately the girl was like, I couldn't help but notice your shirt. 
uh, we just put Halloween out today. So everything is fresh out at Hallmark. Now she did say, um, and I saw online that there was a Jack and Sally Tiki mug. Um, they just did still have the Sally. She said the Jack got put out and bought in like two seconds. Be warned that might be kind of a harder item to find at Hallmark. I have a feeling that this might also be something that sells out very quickly. It's the Peanuts mug, man. I couldn't help it. Steve and I both saw this and we're like, yes, we need it. It's little Linus. Good morning, friends. Editing Jess interjecting. It's not Linus. Why do I keep thinking it's Linus? Linus was waiting for the great pumpkin. That's Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown is the one that got a rock. Please excuse me. In his ghost Halloween costume, it's my favorite part of the, <laughs> the Peanuts special when he pulls the rock out of the trick or treat bag and he says, I got a rock. So it's like very like niche Halloween mug, but I thought it was so, so, so cute. And this is going to go really quickly. Now I am sitting outside of Joann's and Marshall's. So these are the next two stops. I'm not really sure what to expect at either ones, but uh, let's hit Joann's first and see what's up. It looks like the fabric is finally out and there are some very cute ones here. This fabric is back. I thought this one was so cute last year. Oh my gosh, I love this fabric. This is so fun. We've got a shark Halloween here for Anne, my shark obsessed best friend. These are cool. This skull one is very cool. Honestly, though, I think this might be my favorite. And it says the eyes glow. That's awesome. Yeah, buddy, it has begun. Table decorations. Cute tablecloth. <laughs> I love this print. Adorable. Of course, we have the plates to match. Oh, so spooky. Spider. More spiders. All the spiders little pumpkins. I really like the design of these. They kind of remind me of like the over the garden wall pumpkins, like carving another pumpkin space. Same. Oh, I could have got the ghost towel. The Kohl's ones were a better price though, because this is just one for $10 right now. Oh, that's cute. Ooh, also expensive. I'm sure these will be on sale at some point, but yikes for oven mints. Same, same thing, very cute, but uh, not in budget. Oh my gosh, look at this cat tray. Jesus, this is, this is heavy. Oh, this is two. All right, it's still pretty substantial. This is $60. Again, come sale time. I'm sure it'll be far better. Little spider web tray. I am seeing some Halloween floral over here. Oh, so much glitter. So much glitter. Ooh, I like how like spindly this one is. That's fun. This one's got a little bird inside. Very pretty. Ooh. Oh, how cute. Ah! This one lights up with orange lights. Some garland. Ooh, some like 
raven feather garland, some sparkly bats. We've got some picks up here. The glitter Halloween is just not my favorite because like that happens and it gets everywhere. I call these things glitter shitters. Um, these branches are pretty cool. The birds, big black flowers, black roses. Oh, that's pretty. I like that a lot. Glitter, 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 glitter. <laughs> Feather hand, glitter. And then just some sort of darker looking floral down here. That's all I'm seeing at Joanne's today, but like we've seen Halloween at every store we've been to so far, which is amazing. Cross your fingers, next door at Marshall's has a little something for us. Ooh, there's a little bit, but there's some here. Seven. We've been to seven stores now and we have found Halloween in every single one. This is the best day ever. I am now outside of Old Time Pottery. I know there's Halloween here. I have made a couple videos so far kind of going over what is available. I won't go over things I've already covered, um, just like Cracker Barrel. Uh, I'll do a quick once over and uh, we'll see what's new at Old Time Pottery. There are some mummy hands I saw in someone else's vlog that uh really intrigued me, so let's hope they're here. Lots more harvest stuff right off the rip, but I see Halloween back there. I see new Halloween. Very happy to see they brought back this guy. I bought him last year and I love him. I think he's so cute. So love the colors in this haunted house. I saw this online and I just think it's so cute. Does she light up? Oh, how stinking cute is that? A lot of new stuff, but I'm not seeing the mummy hands. Well, no mummy hands. I did find myself very tempted by the witch is inside. I went ahead and passed on it today. They did still have quite a bit, so if I live to regret that decision later, I can probably get another one. <laughs> Famous last words in the Halloween community, I know, but it is what it is. I really, really want the mummy hands, so I'm holding out for that for now. Uh, now I am headed off to another area that has all kinds of stores. There's like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, Michaels, and Bath and Body Works. I think those are all the ones we're hitting in this little loop. And hopefully we keep the streak going where we find Halloween everywhere. Because this is literally giving me so much serotonin today. So we got Michaels over here. Bath and Body Works over here. We're definitely going to try this Bath and Body Works. Maybe we'll have different results because it seems like every store is doing different things. Let's check that first. I'm curious. Well, this one was a total bust. They have a lot of their fall fragrances out, like the autumn specific things, but nothing that is Halloween. So I'm very sad we broke the streak. We had seven in a row for Halloween. Hopefully Michaels comes through for us.
The tiny treasures are very cute. I have no earthly idea what I would do with them. And that was it. That's all she wrote for Michaels today. So now I'm headed to Home Goods and Marshalls thinking good thoughts. I'm thinking happy Halloween thoughts. I love these little like felty ghosts and I have one um, who's just plain he's not holding anything and I can't ever have him out because my cats think he's a toy. They destroy him. It's a very sad situation. Home Goods was an absolute bust. Nothing there at all and I'm heading to TJ Maxx across the way here but look what's coming soon. Uh, I can't wait. I think it might be another bust, friends. I got really excited for a minute because I thought these were skeletons from far away. <laughs> they are definitely not. Sun's starting to go down and we're hitting the home stretch. I am outside of yet another home goods. Hoping for the best. Hoping for the best. Come on, Halloween is not looking good friends and every time i see something orange i'm like oh ooh, no orange oh no they're faking me out with all this summer orange we're gonna end it on a high note guys we are outside of at home right now i know there is halloween here so there won't be any like wondering um i don't know if there's anything new from the last time i've been actually last time i went I did not film. So maybe I'll show you if they're still there, the couple of things I picked up and hopefully we find something new. There are some cauldrons I'm really interested in and like a cauldron mug that I really like too. So um, if we find it, we find it. But if we don't, we're still ending on a happy Halloween note. So let's go shopping. They've got all their inflatables up, how fun. Did not have these trees out last time I was here. This one I actually have, uh, we got last year. This bow I think is so cute. I don't know what I would do with it, but it definitely reminds me of Nightmare Before Christmas. This little cat lights up, it has like a moon and stars. It's pretty cute. That's adorable. These were next to this big skull thing. I wasn't sure if it was a planner, punch bowl or whatever. I actually really regret not getting that. <laughs> I want to use it as a planner. Uh, if I see it, if it happens to get restocked, I definitely want to snatch it up next time. That is the thing about Halloween. Like, if you want it, you got to get it now before someone else does. <laughs> Tiny trees are really cute. Last time I was here, I did pick up this purple bottle. I saw somebody use it in their kitchen for um, olive oil. They put like a little pour spout on it. And I love that idea. So I think that's what I'm gonna do in our Halloween kitchen. Looks like they've done a lot more here since I've been last. All right, I gotta see what the Nine Lives scented candle smells like. Kinda smells like laundry. They also have fortune teller candle kind of has more of a fruity scent to it oh, this is very cool $24.99 from the Spellbound collection that's 
some pretty wild skulls this year. These are fun. Okay, so this I actually got last time I was here. If you guys remember, when they had this last year, it was completely covered in glitter. And I have a little ghost collection going and I was like, oh, he's like tall and thin. He looks so good with the rest of my little ghost party. And uh, I wound up not getting him because he was a glitter shitter. And this year, not a drop of glitter to be found. Thank you at home. No luck with the cauldrons, but we did see some new things. It's kind of hard to tell anymore if like they haven't got the cauldrons in yet or if they got them and they just sold out incredibly quickly. <laughs> so I'll keep checking. I'll keep looking for the cauldrons. I'll keep looking for those mummy hands and old time pottery. I have so much Halloween already that I do kind of tend to get selective now. When I first started decorating for Halloween and like collecting decorations and stuff, I would just get like everything. And I don't do that anymore. <laughs> so the apartment's only so big. I'm so sure we will be doing far more Halloween hunting coming up. I mean, it is still only July and hopefully we find the things we're looking for. Hopefully you guys saw something you were interested in in this video. I was a little disappointed in like the Home Goods TJ Maxx Marshall situation. I mean, they had a little bit, but not that much. And I've seen other people having like a ton of luck there. So Ohio needs to get it together a little bit. <laughs> But we'll keep plugging, we'll keep hunting. If you guys are new here and you're watching this video because you are a Halloween fiend like I am, hi, hello, you should probably subscribe because we're doing all kinds of spooky content. I do spooky content all the time. Uh, full disclosure, I'm a daily vlogger right now, so my content is completely all over the place, but it is a whole lot of going to spooky places, spooky shopping, um, just a lot of Halloween related things in general. I'm also a big nerd. I do conventions. I do Renfest, cosplay, general travel. I do, I do, this is a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff. Um, so if any of that sounds like it might be your bag, please subscribe. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow, which weirdly enough is Christmas after we've done all of this Halloween shopping in July. Tomorrow we're going to Zimbizi Bay, uh, the water park in town, to celebrate Christmas in July. So we're just, we're gonna have all the seasons, all the holidays, all the things this week. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun, but I'm gonna go home. Steve's got Chinese food. I need to put my spooky jammies on. Maybe we'll put on a horror movie and just relax. Cause dang, I did a lot of shopping after work today and I'm tired. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.